Hi there. If you are watching this video, then you have had a lesson on the fourth grammar box, the verb. And so I wanted to share this book with you by one of our favorite authors, Ruth Heller. It is called Kites Sail High, a book about verbs. Now, before we start reading, I just want to review a little bit about verbs with you so that you have it fresh in your mind as you're hearing the story. So you'll remember from our lesson that the word verb comes from the Latin word verbum, which means the word. And that's a very important name. And the reason that we use this very important term to describe this word is because verbs are action and they provide the life in our sentences. They provide action in our sentences. And so that's a very important part of speech. We quite honestly would not get anything done without actions. So verbs are really important and that's why they're called the word. Okay, so I'm gonna carry on and read the book to you, and I hope you really enjoy it. Thanks. Kites Sail High, a book about verbs by Ruth Heller. Stay, remain, taste, smell, appear, seem, turn, become, grow. A verb is really the most superb of any word you've ever heard. Verbs tell you something's being done. Roses bloom. And people run. Pelicans fly. Kites sail high. And rabbits quickly multiply. A vigorous verb is super superb. It tells you fireworks explode. Or horses thunder down the road. Of equal attraction are verbs of less action. Have is a verb. These kings have gold. And so is has. She has a cold. Here are verbs we use to link. I am a cat. My nose is pink. My fur feels soft. I sound content. My lifestyle looks most opulent. Is, am, are, and was, and were, and being, been, and be are linking verbs and, as you see, show no activity. Nor do these other verbs that link feel, sound, or look. More of them are listed as you open up this book. Is, am, and are, and was, and were, and being, been, and be are here again. This time you'll see they're called auxiliary, along with do, and does, and did, and has, and have, and had, and shall, and will, and also should 
and might and may and can and would. They're helping verbs, and they are able to form verb phrases as in this fable. While the hare who should have won was napping in the morning in the noonday sun, the tortoise with a steady pace was inching by and won the race. Only a verb can change its tenses, and here are some of the consequences. Irregular verbs leave you aghast by the way they change from present to past. I write, I wrote, or I have written. I bite, I bit, or I have bitten. I sink, I sank, or I have sunk. I shrink, I shrank, or I have shrunk. These are just a very few from a list of more than 52. Most regular verbs change easily by adding an E and D. I paint, I painted, or I have painted. There are three moods to be expressed, and of course, it's the verb that does this best. The imperative mood take, makes a request. Please take just one and leave the rest. Or it gives a command, march. This is a whole sentence in one single word. And of course, this can only be done by a verb. The indicative mood is just a fact. We act. The subjunctive mood expresses a wish or uses the words as though or if. If I were a fish, as though that could be, I'd swim in a beautiful tropical sea. Verbs have two voices, passive and active. Choose the one you find more attractive. This egg was laid by a hen named Said. A hen named Said laid this egg. Each sentence requires one verb or more. She sells seashells at the seashore. And here is a sentence with verbs galore. Lizards leap and pile in a heap and slither and climb and splash and creep and swim and govort and fall asleep. Now, as an important afterthought about words that are verbs and words that are not, is is a verb, not is not. Put them together, you have is not. Then, with a quick converging action, is not becomes isn't. That's called a contraction. Is not becomes isn't. Use every restraint and never, no never, please never say ain't. We don't really have that problem. I don't hear people saying ain't anymore. Okay, that was Kite Sail High, a book about verbs by Ruth Heller. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.